Peace and blessings, beautiful people. Peace and blessings. And this is Empress Imani. And Empress Elisa. And welcome to day three of your self-love daily dose. Now today we're talking about purpose. Your sacred purpose. Why are you here? What are you here to be and do? Now keep in mind, your sacred purpose is not self-serving. That means that it's not about you. Your purpose is found when you focus all of your energies, love, and passions on something that brings eternal joy and fulfillment for the greater good of all. Yes, yes. So tips to discover your purpose. Now first, let's just give a disclaimer. Some people know their purpose just off top. And then some people, it takes a little bit longer. If you're in that second category where it takes a little bit longer, we're going to give you some tips today to kind of help you on your pathway. Number one, pray and ask the most high and your higher self why you are here. You may want to spend some time in silence, spend some time in meditation, and just listen. Number two, examine your dreams. What do you dream about? What is something that's constant in your dreams? Yeah, now this one was a big one for me. I've always known what I was supposed to do, and it came by way of dreams. It was like clairvoyant dreams. Number three, what is your heart drawing you to? You know how you hear people say, follow your heart? What's in your heart? What is your heart pulling you toward? What are you drawn to? Number four, what are you passionate about? What do you spend your time focusing on and discussing with friends and family? This oftentimes leads to something that you find you're really passionate about. Yes. Number five, what childhood dreams did you have? I know for me, one childhood dream was to travel the world. Yes. And we are currently doing that. Yes, that was a childhood dream of mine as well. And we're doing it together. Yes. And as we go along, we're sharing our sacred love lessons in these small self-love daily doses with you. So you can also follow your childhood dreams. And so, what are the benefits of knowing and operating in your sacred purpose? One of the main benefits is certainty and clarity. You know exactly what you're supposed to be doing, and you're doing just that. Yes, every day I wake up, the first thought on my mind after my morning prayer is sacred love lessons. One of the last thoughts on my mind is sacred love lessons. And so I know that is what I'm supposed to be doing. Another benefit of operating in your sacred purpose is stability. You'll notice that your life will now have peace and stability. Yes, that's a big one too. Another benefit, service to others. You'll have the opportunity and the privilege of bringing love and joy to yourself and others. Yes, your purpose, your sacred purpose is altruistic. When you help others, you are also helping yourself. Now, it's not with the motive to help yourself. It's with the intention to help others. But as you do that, you will help yourself. It's like what the Ascendant Master Jesus said, it is better to give than to receive. And you will also be raising the vibration of the planet. Yes. So that's all we have for you today. We hope this self-love daily dose has been of value. Don't forget to share, like, all that good stuff. And until tomorrow, be the light. Be the light.